Yeah, the, the, the Lakers have like obviously like really a ton of star power mm -hmm. organizationally, but they've also been able to kind of like develop guys. Uh, was Caruso, right. Austin Reeves last year. Uh, what do you what, what what's sort of their reputation as a place to go to like develop? Do you think? Um, I do think I think it's a, a great place to to develop. It's kind of easy when you know, if you land on a team like this, you know you have kind of veteran guys as, as they have you know a lot of knowledge on the team so and then you obviously have the staff and everyone working with you to you know kind of help you along so i definitely think it's it's an easy place to you know kind of develop at i mean a great place because also like i said the, the leadership they have and you know just the guys who've been around the league a long time um you saw what her was able to do this year um i guess what, what do you think your your how do you feel about your ability to kind of come in and contribute what are the things that you think you could bring to a team sort of immediately <clears throat> um, honestly, a, a lot of the things like like Herb did, you know, um, guarding guarding the top guys, you know, making it tough on them, um, spacing the floor. I, I do think I could be a, a a better space creator, if you will. Yeah, Herb didn't really shoot a lot, right? Yeah, he, it wasn't a strong suit, but it was respectable. So, mm -hmm. um, I definitely think, I, like I said, kind of the same role as him. You know, just making it tough on guys, uh, kind of the dirty work. You know, um, harassing the ball. You know, passing lanes, all type of defensive stuff like that. I think that'll be something that I'm good at and can contribute at the next level. Okay. Yeah, I, can't, I can't help but notice you got a little. Yeah, well, did you get an elbow. What happened? Um, it was in the, the one on ones. Uh, Today? Yeah, yeah. A guy kind of he, he spin move and uh, his head kind of hit me in the mouth, but it's, I'm, I'm good. It, it doesn't hurt. It's probably a little bad. Yeah. Um, how many workouts have you done? Um, I think this is number seven. How? Do you, how does it kind of change when you do more and more? Do you get gain more confidence when you're, you know, on your seventh workout than when you're on your first? Or are you, are you kind of looking for ways that each one is sort of individually different, special? Like how, how do you kind of treat once you've gone this mm -hmm. far down the path? Um, honestly, when I go into a workout, you know, it's most of them are, are kind of similar. You know, you're going to do some of the same stuff, you know, one-on-ones, three-on-threes, um, kind of against each other, you know, the guys that you've never played with. So it's all it's all kind of the same thing, just just going there, be myself, um, and just knowing, like, like kind of like you said, the first one's probably just, you know, the first one just got to get it all the way, you get all the jitters out and whatnot. But um, after that, it's, it's nothing different, you know, kind of you've been doing it every day for, you know, however long. So just going in and, you know, knowing, like, you can't really be shell-shocked because you're, you're here for a reason. So um, you wouldn't be here if, you're, if you weren't capable of it. That's how I kind of approach it. So just go out there and, and not try to get, you know, especially it's kind of easy, you know, coming in here, working out for the Lakers, you know, kind of can get caught up in the moment, but um, it's just basketball. So uh, a lot of the same stuff you've been doing. Um, just to follow up on that, what you just said, getting caught up in the moment, what kind of feelings are you kind of trying to maybe tamp down or, or is there some emotion kind of walking in this building? Um, I mean, I don't think it's, Nothing crazy. Uh, like I obviously I've thought about the Lakers a lot. You know, uh, my favorite player is LeBron. So I'm um, just coming in here, seeing the facility. It, it looks great. You know everything. So, uh, but I mean, I, I've kind of been around a lot. Been around a lot of people. You know, a lot of talent. So that's kind of helped me not really, you know, kind of get too excited about anything. So um, just coming in and you know knowing that I mean I got a job to do. So uh, a job interview, if you will. So um, don't really focus on that too much. Just kind of got to worry about myself and. I mean, it's just cool being here. You, you kind of mentioned I mean, this is a job interview, essentially. Like, what are you trying to get across? Is it the stuff you said earlier about that, like you're willing to get busted in the face yeah, <laughs> a little, yeah, little bit, like yeah. that you're that kind of player? Um, most definitely. Just like kind of like I said, the, the dirty work kind of guy, you know, um, not not trying to go out there. I'll do myself. I'm not going to go out there and try to show them that I'm a, a dynamic point guard when everyone knows it's not me. So. Just go out there and be myself, you know, make shots, play great defense and, you know, do all the stuff that I do. So just just try to show them. That, and then even in a setting where you don't know guys, so just got to try to talk, communicate, get on the same level, even though this is your first day playing with them. So um, things like that, just just try to be great at it, you know. The, you know, there, there's a way, the way that the draft and the process is structured now, obviously you're, you want to hear your name called and stuff like that. Um, but there is also opportunity sometimes for players to kind of control their own fate too and, you can have success that way. What like what are you looking for in a partner from an organization? Could you kind of word that differently? Yeah, I can try better. Um, 
teams choose players, in right? For sure. Right. But there's also an element sometimes of players choosing teams, whether it's uh, two way deals or, or okay. down the road and stuff like that. I, I guess, like, what do you want out of the team that you end up with? Like, what are the things you want in their culture and stuff like that? Um, really, uh, kind of like you said, just I, I would love to hear my name called on draft night. Uh, but I think what's what's most important is just going somewhere where you'll fit in. Um, yeah. Because, like I said, it's it's obviously everyone's want everyone wants to get drafted, but um, I I feel like it'll kind of be pointless if if the fit isn't right. Like you know, if you go to a team and you kind of don't fit with them, it'll it, it could kind of mess up your career. So, um, I mean, there, there's also a kind of a good side to it if you're you know you're able to choose your team. So, um, guys like that, even if it happens to be myself as well. Um, you know, you just can't really get too down on it or, or overthink it. You know, uh, there's guy, there's been guys, you know, go undrafted and, and you know, come back with, with great stories. So um, I, I definitely think it's, it's, there's some good that can come out of it, but um, I, I, doubt, I definitely would love to hear from yeah, call for sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. I stumbled over that at the beginning.